Hello guys and welcome to the review of Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. In this video, we will discuss what this tab is all about and how it's different from the others. So what is it about the Galaxy Tab 2 that's better than other tabs? Or more importantly, why would you even want to buy this tab? Well, for starters, it really depends on what you want to do. And unless you want a larger screen, this tablet would actually do everything you possibly could want from a handy portable device. Weight and thickness. Now, this is only 345 grams, very light for a tablet, and it's only 10.5 millimeters thick. So it's really a pleasure to hold. You can hold it for longer hours, you can read for long, you can view movies or TV shows for really long without even feeling much weight in your hands. It's got a dual core 1 gigahertz processor and 1 GB RAM, and they do a great job of rendering Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0 on this device. It's got a PLS TFT screen. So PLS is basically very natural colors, great brightness, and very good viewing angles. So if I tilt this device right now, even from the angle that I am trying to look at, it's the, the colors are intact and readability is very good. Even in bright sunlight, it's not a stress to your eyes. Comparing with, with the Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED has a much more vivid display so colors are highly saturated so you know that's why the word vivid this is more natural and more subtle to your eyes let's compare the screen to the ipad 2's screen and uh, i'm not comparing it to the new ipad since it's not does not fall in the same price range so that would be an unfair comparison but let's compare to the ipad 2 so this screen is 1024 pixels by six 40 pixels. So, I'm sorry, 600 pixels. So it's 1024 by 600 pixels as compared to the new, as compared to the iPad 2, which is 1024 by 768 pixels. But remember, that is on a 9.7 inch display. This is just a 7 inch display. So this device actually packs more pixels per inch as compared to the iPad 2. And hence, you know, the smoothness. It's very smooth. Packing a lot of pixels, great clarity, very rich in detail. It has Bluetooth version 3.0 as compared to Bluetooth version 2.1 in the iPad 2. And that just means a better range and more efficient use of uh, power. This has a camera which is 3.15 megapixels at the, at the back. The iPad 2 has a 0.7 megapixel camera. And this camera has geotagging as well as smile detection uh, features. Front camera is a VGA camera for uh, video calling purposes. Now, apart from the usual things that you do on the tablet, such as watch movies, YouTube videos, and listen to music, even read books or articles, you can also make phone calls and connect to 3G by using a SIM card. So it has a SIM card slot right here. So this is a SIM card slot and you can insert your SIM right here and start using uh, 3G or even uh, make phone calls. All right. So other things about this tablet, let's start with entertainment because that's one thing people do a lot. Listen to music, watch videos. It's very easy. I have, a, I have a special video that just talks about the video player, the music player and YouTube playing playback. So feel free to watch that and uh, F fabulous it's fantastic the clarity is great it plays 720p and 1080p full hd videos with no issues and it has tons of multiple uh, audio options so you get these white elegant looking in your earphones right here it has volume control as well as a built-in microphone so you can use this to make phone calls they're very good on treble, maybe a little low on bass, but great isolation. So even in a crowded place, these earphones would do a good job. All right. So entertainment is sorted. Great video player, great music player. The YouTube application runs very smooth, even for high definition videos. The ICS on this device is uh, fabulous. It's, it's, it's layered obviously with touch with interface. It's got the regular return, home, screenshot and uh, recent apps so you can just click here and see what your recent apps were right 
All right, besides that, you've got a notification panel, date and time, it tells you a wireless network connected to you're connected to, the battery information, radio toggles, you can adjust the brightness right here, go into settings, and you've got your regular notifications over here. Oh, and you can control your music. So that's about that. Let's go into the browser and see how the browser looks like. Now, I already had rendered this for a quick display. So this is my website, moviescrub.com. And look at pinch and zoom, how smooth it is. Just takes a fraction of a second to re-render after it's zoomed in, but works great. And scrolling is very smooth, right? This is another website I loaded, the Yahoo website. So again, great, great scrolling. And you have multiple tabs right here. So that's pretty good. Let's go back. I would want to show the uh, readability options that are available with this device. And let's, this is Pulse, another application that I use for, uh, you know, keeping myself updated. And as you can see, the readability is very good. Well, the camera would not do the best job. You have to personally experience this, but it's very good text, very clear and a treat to the eyes. And uh, even if you go into this mode, again, very readable, very clear. And scrolling is very, very smooth. So great device overall for viewing video content as well as textual content. All right. Now, it is packed with a bunch of applications preloaded. From Samsung, we have AllShare, we have ChatOn, we have Memo, we have Reader's Hub, the S Planner, Samsung Apps, and uh, apart from that, you obviously have the uh, Google suite of applications such as YouTube, Gmail, um, Maps, and Google Doc. So all in all, this is a great device and it can make phone calls. So if you go into the dialer, you can see you've got a dial pad and you can directly make video calls or send a text message or make a call. Very clean interface. I really like it. You would not be using it a lot to place it next to your ear to make a phone call, but that's why you've got these earphones. So. Again, it's a great device, great for its price. It plays games very well as well. I tried playing Angry Birds and it was um, just very good. No stutter, no delay, no lag. Absolutely fabulous. It's great for its price and uh, it does the job very well. I would definitely recommend this device to people who are interested in a tablet and are not looking for something big. This is the tablet to own. There will be more videos about the camera, the hardware, body, design, um, and the browser in detail. So look out for those videos. Do read the review. It's uploaded on the website. And uh, please leave any comments, any questions, any queries that you might have about this device. And I will do my best to give you a, a suitable answer. Thank you.